Remember Rachel Dolezal, the white woman who tried to pass herself off as a black woman? Here's a refresher. Dolezal says she's been victimized more than a dozen times in both Spokane and Coeur d'Alene, including the appearances of nooses around her homes, yet police have made no arrests. There's been no conclusion in any of these incidents with the, that have resulted in a suspect. And now it's Dojal herself who is under scrutiny. In numerous postings and public appearances, Dojal has represented herself as African American, including this application for a position on the Police Ombudsman Commission. Is that your dad? Yeah, that's, that's my dad. Dojal also made claims on the NAACP Facebook page that this man is her father. This man right here is your father? Right there? Do you have a question about that? In reality, this man, Larry Dojal, is Rachel's father, and this is her mother, Ruth Ann. This birth certificate from Lincoln County, Montana, proves it. Yes, ma'am. Okay. I was wondering if, uh, <laughs> if your dad really is an African American man. That's a very. I mean, I don't, I don't know what you're implying. He's implying that you're not black. The implication is Dojal has taken steps to misrepresent her ethnic background. These are photographs of Dojal when she was a teenager. Are you African American? I don't, I don't understand the question of, I did tell you that yes, that's my dad. And he was unable to come in January. Are your parents? I'm Are like, they white? I, I, and that's when Dojal walked away from our interview in such a hurry she left her purse and car keys behind. Our photographer dutifully returned them as Dojal hid inside this clothing store. She fucking walked right into that one, didn't she? And if you thought that was painful to watch, here's the unedited version. As a black studies professor, I know what these images mean and take them very seriously given the, the history of, of racism in the United States. Speaking of that, did your dad ever make it to Spokane in January for the ribbon cutting? Um, n no, actually, he has um, un unfortunately has bone cancer and was not able to get cleared for surgery, and and so. Yeah, that sounds like a terrible <laughs> break for you. I'm sure that he would he would have been very proud of you. Is that your dad? Yeah, that's that's my dad. This man right here is your father. Right there? Do you have a question about that? Yes, ma'am. Okay. I was wondering if uh, <laughs> if your dad really is an African American man. That's a very I mean I don't I don't know what you're implying. He's implying that you're not black. Are you African American? I don't I don't understand the question of I did tell you that yes, that's my dad. And you, he was unable to come in January. Are your parents I'm Are like, they white? I, I read, I read. <laughs> oh, the cringe. Would you identify yourself as an African American? I actually don't like the term African American. I prefer black. And I would say that if, um, you know, if I was asked, I would definitely say that yes, I do consider myself to be black. But Dolezal's biological parents say she's living a lie. Our daughter is primarily German and Czech and of European descent. So she's white. Caucasian. She's white. Mm -hmm. Well, anyway, Rachel traveled to Johannesburg, South Africa a couple of weeks ago after she was invited to speak at the inaugural quest for a non-racial South Africa society dialogue. The audience, made up of mostly black students, apparently weren't too impressed by her speech, which was all about her authentic black identity. Dripping with autism. I was born to white parents in a TV, which is like a tent, on a remote mountainside in Montana. Some of these claims she reportedly has made over the years are pretty dramatic, that she was born in a teepee, had to use bows and arrows to hunt for foods as a child, that she lived in South Africa. I mean, what's the motive for making such claims, assuming those aren't true? Those are all false claims. Um, I think Rachel has tried to damage her biological family and those kind of claims, as false as they were, uh, seem to serve her purposes in her mind. I was born to white parents in a teepee, which is like a tent. Why the fuck you lying? Why, Why you always lying? Why? Oh my gosh, stop fucking lying. I was born looking darker than my older white brother. I had black hair and green eyes. 
and my mother would remind me from a young age that I nearly killed her because she hemorrhaged during my childbirth. Drawing pictures always made me happy, and in my earliest drawings, I drew myself as a black girl with curly braids. Oh, right, right. I didn't realise you drew a black kid when you were a kid and thought you were that black kid. N nothing to see here. Go fuck yourself. A recent Daily Mail article reads, American race faker Rachel Dolezal has returned to the limelight with her first ever visit to Africa on a lecture tour about race, a move which has been met with outrage, calls for a boycott and a string of scathing memes. Police flanked Dolezal's first keynote event after a hostile meeting with mostly black students who objected to her insistence that she had an authentic black identity, despite admitting to being biologically white. The 39-year-old, who was labelled as an ethnic fraud after passing herself off as a black woman for more than a decade, recently took a Nigerian name to make herself sound more authentic. The shamed black activist, who now calls herself Nkechi Amare Diallo, outraged her young black audience in Johannesburg after equating her claim to being trans-black with the transgender experience of Caitlyn Jenner. It's Caitlyn, and she's a fucking stunning woman! Deriding Miss Dolezal's claim to racial fluidity, she was told by a member of the mostly black audience of students that only a white person could claim blackness and two of the world talking to blacks about blackness. Another attendee demanded to know, what are your daily experiences as a black person? Is it wearing braids? What is it? <laughs> Now there's just one more bombshell that needs to be dropped about this Nakechi Amare Diallo, and that is that she is a Nazi. <gasps> no shit, a fucking Nazi. My question to you would be, what made you not say? What made you not say?